In this part, I'm going to talk about hypothesis. Hypothesis is the proposed explanation based on the observation. So that's why uh, after we have uh, we we make an observation on a biological phenomenon, okay, and then we try to make an explanation to explain something. Uh, what is the reason behind that? Okay, what is the relationship between something and something? But one thing, uh, many students they may get confused is that. Uh, when we are doing the scientific investigation, okay, especially for the SBA, so uh, when we should have a hypothesis, or when we actually we do not have to make a hypothesis when we are doing the scientific investigation to be or not to be that's the question so that's why in this slide i would like to explain it uh, in details and then i will use the uh, two investigation list okay the list one and list two and we shall have a parallel comparison and then later on you will know or in which type of investigation scientific investigation we should have a hypothesis and in which type of investigation actually is not that necessary to make a hypothesis so for the first pair is that on the left hand side uh, I would like to investigate how does the AIDS spread among the population and the focus is how the mechanism behind that and then for the right hand side that's the what are the signs and the symptoms of ACE? So the focus is what? And the second pair is that what is the relationship between brushing teeth and the chance of suffering from tooth decay? The focus is the relationship between two factors, brushing teeth and the chance of suffering from tooth decay. And for on the right hand side, uh, the investigation is how many teeth does an adult have? We are also investigating the teeth but actually the focus is just talking about how many do we have so the first pair is that on the left hand side why do the migratory bird fly to a particular region why do they fly to hong kong why do they fly to somewhere or why do they fly to my pole something like this and on the right hand side is that where do they fly to they fly to hong kong or they fly to singapore or oh, they fly to Thailand, something like this. Okay, they, where do they fly to? So the focus is where. And for the fourth pair is that why do the M size lose catalytic function at 100 degrees, degrees Celsius? And actually, what we are going to investigate that's the reason behind. And on the right hand side is that what is the uh, enzymatic reaction rate? at 100 degrees celsius so that means uh we have a an enzyme and then we put it and with the substrate at 100 degrees celsius and then we investigate the reaction rate so uh by reading these two list i think that uh you start have a sense the left hand side actually that's the analytical investigation we try to explain something explain how they are spread what is the relationship between a and b why okay the reason behind so that's that's why we are going to explain something but on the right hand side what how many where what actually is a disruptive investigation so we are just going to describe the biological phenomenon being studied so that's why actually they do not answer the questions of how when why or the relationship between something so actually they just tell me the answer how many teeth does an adult have do you really uh, need, need to make a hypothesis or oh, I proposed that, that we have 23 teeth and then we count it no if you really want to know the number we just count it okay or oh, one two three four five six oh, blah, 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 blah. 28 okay 28 is the answer 32 is the answer okay we just count it and then we know where do they fly to or where we we set up a gps and then we we, we shall know it or fly to hong kong fly to thailand okay something like this we know it already okay we do not really need to make a hypothesis on the left hand side this investigation we can make some hypothesis for example the relationship 
between brushing teeth and the chance of suffering from head, uh, uh, tooth decay. Some people may propose that, that no, there is no relationship between them. Okay, no matter you brush your teeth or not, you will or you will not uh, suffer from tooth decay. But some people they may they they may think that no, I propose that that if we do not brush our teeth regularly, so we may have a high chance to have tooth decay. So who is correct? The the method is very simple. Do the experiment. Okay, we do the investigation, and then we shall know we shall know which hypothesis is correct. And why do the migratory birds they fly to a particular region? Why do they fly to Hong Kong? Some people they may think that oh, it's about the weather. It's winter, okay? So they need to fly to some somewhere a bit warmer, right? But some people they may have another proposal. They propose that that or because they want to look for、uh, more food, or because they just like would like to escape from the predator, something like this. So, ah,、uh, we have different hypotheses, okay? The proposed explanations, and then we try to check it. So that's why we. Do the experiment. We do the investigation. So that's why on the left hand side for the analytical investigations, we need the hypothesis. But for the descriptive investigations, we do not need the hypothesis because we are just looking for the fact. We do not need to make any hypothesis. So that's why I, I hope that by using this、uh, parallel comparison, you can realize that、uh, when do we need a hypothesis?、Okay. So if you understand it, so you can answer this question. If you are going to、uh, to perform a food test in order to determine which types of food substance in the unknown food sample in this investigation, do we need to make any hypothesis? If so, tell me the、uh, reason. If we do not. Also tell me the reason. So leave your answer below. Also, if you have any questions, you can also leave it below. I will answer you as soon as possible. See you next time. Bye bye.